Amber here, and I'm going to be giving you guys my review of uh, Dr. Anthony Yon's, I think it's pronounced Yon, uh, In Stitches. So I read this book, I got this book over Christmas break, literally on a whim. I was on YouTube um, looking up some different things about medical schools, and this book popped up, like a review for this book, uh, by, I think by Rachel Ray or some somebody, some talk show. And it was like, you know, praising this book, saying how funny it was. So I was like, all right, you know, I have some extra money. I have a Kindle, which I'm pulling the book up on my Kindle right now to show you guys the cover art. I was like, I think I'll get it. Why not? So here's the cover art for it. It's called In Stitches. I don't know if you can see it so well. I'm trying to camera and computers or camera and digital things don't really work very well. But here we go. In Stitches. So anyway. So, uh, I say when I got it, because I started reading it, and I read probably about 60% of it over Christmas break, and then my junior year semester started, and, oh, shirt's kind of wrinkled, sorry, a little bit ADD, sorry. Um, uh, junior year started, and it was really hectic, and I wasn't able to finish it until summer started, and then I literally just finished it last night, and I, my summer started, like, 10 days ago, so I really just finished it as soon as I possibly could. Um, and it wasn't a chore at all. This book is absolutely amazing. I would highly, highly, highly recommend In Stitches to anyone who is going into the healthcare, or in the field of healthcare, especially anyone who is pre-med, especially pre-med uh, undergraduates. Um, I would highly recommend this to anyone who just wants to know like the journey and what it takes to become a doctor and why most people actually become doctors. My journey isn't similar to Anthony Young's. It's not Young, it's like Yoon. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm pronouncing it weird. Someone let me know if I am. But um, my story isn't similar to his. I, like his dad, and he talks about it early on in the book, his dad uh, really pushes him to become a doctor and he's not really sure if it's what he wants. Um, and he questions himself throughout the book, but it's really, 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 really good, and it's really insightful, and it's light. Like, you would think that a book about medicine and becoming a physician is something that's going to be dreary and kind of, like, boring to read, but it's actually really, really interesting and really, really funny, um, and it's a, it's a quick, light read. If I had any, uh, any complaints, it would probably be, and this is really digging, because like I said, I really enjoyed this book using really a lot but I, I really really did if I had any complaints if I could pick a complaint at all is that the the writing is a little can be a little cliche at times um he he uses cliches to be funny but sometimes it gets to be a little bit much but this is coming from someone who reads books often I read a lot of books I read a lot of classics I read a lot of scientific books I rarely ever read books that are this light and this it's not a young adult book by any means, but it's almost kind of written in that light, funny way that it's not hard to read. It's it's something you can read before you fall asleep. So I, I, I'm i used to reading things that are more complex. So when I was reading this, I was kind of like, oh, you know, uh, if there a, a cliche here or there, but there are there are a few that I it just kind of made me like, mm. but like that's really digging. That's really, really digging to find something wrong with this book. Uh, there's not really many spoilers that I could give. It's just his life, his journey. Obviously, he's a doctor now, so you know the end. He becomes a doctor. But um, I think the the reason I like the book so much is because he embodies the self-doubt, the, um, the, the, the yearning, the want, the, the hard work that goes into be, being pre-med. That I really appreciated. I think, I mean, obviously it's his life, so he captured that tremendously well. I felt like it was my own thoughts, and toward the end of the book, I, as he was accomplishing accomplishing his goals, I kind of saw myself through that. Uh, it was written really, really well, and I, I really appreciated that. So, like I said before, making this review kind of short, because it was a short book, and I mean, it's straight to the point. A Man's Journey on Becoming a Doctor please read it. If you want to know, like, just what what it's like or, or what people who are in the health industry go through or what they're really thinking, like, this book will tell you all that. And he, he drops in a lot of stories. Um, obviously, he changes his patients' names, but they're true stories about patients that touch your life, touches his life, and it touches yours as well. 
I thought that was really interesting because as a pre-med, we often shadow, we're told to shadow doctors, we're told to, well not told, but um, we, we have the opportunity to, my, I might say, to uh, shadow different doctors and we get to see patients as well. I've seen uh, a lot of patients and the way he writes about his patients or the way I feel about the patients that I've seen, how they, how each patient touches your life in a different way and, and you you take you take a lesson away from each person and, and it's just I'm a little biased I'm a little biased I'm not gonna lie with my my pre-health association shirt on but like I said it's great um, so please read it if you have time it's really cheap I got mine obviously on my Kindle so but I'm pretty sure you can find it at Hastings definitely Amazon obviously uh, if you do have time, pick up this book. It's a really great read, and it's a really easy and fun summer read. All right, thanks for listening.